Still here at the IndyCar Village, Roger Griffiths is with us uh, from Honda. Uh, Roger, what do you think? We've got uh, some cold conditions here in Kentucky. I, I know that they tested cars a week ago. Is that even, uh, will any of that data even translate to what's going on now? Yeah, it's going to be really hard. I mean, not only is it cold, but it's very, very windy as well. So that's going to make the car handling particularly difficult. I mean, both ends of the racetrack, the car's going to feel different. You're going to have, you know, pushing in one end of the track, and then you're going to have it run um, a little bit loose, a bit of oversteer on the other end. Certainly, track temperature will be way down. Um, you know, with the cold conditions, it's likely to be a bit more downforce, a bit more drag. So they're going to have to reevaluate where they are on their aero package and the, and the mechanical spring plan platform that the car's running on. So. Now, as far as a team is concerned, I mean, a few weeks, well, about a month ago now in Baltimore, it was hot. It was humid. Do you think uh, a team would prefer those kind of conditions or something like this or maybe something in between? I think somewhere in between. I mean, Baltimore was, I mean, it's tough on the people as well as tough on the machinery. I mean, this is a bit chilly for all of us. I think we, you know, We'd like the weather we get in Sonoma at every racetrack, I think, you know, it's just perfect up there. Um, you know, the problem is when it gets really, really hot, the car starts to slide around a lot. Um, you know, the tires don't work quite, quite as well. The racetrack gets really greasy. Um, you know, the air gets, typically gets a bit thinner, the density goes down. Um, so there's less downforce, less drag. And then the engines don't work quite so well because it's all about how much oxygen you can get into the air. And when the air's not quite as dense, then um, you know we don't make quite as much power. On a cold, crisp morning, then, then that's the best conditions for the engine. And you'll probably even notice that in a, you know, if you still drive an old carbureted road car, then you'll really see on a, a cold, crisp morning, it's going to want to fly. And on a hot, humid, sticky day, then it's dead as a dodo. So. Let me ask you one more question, switching gears just a teeny bit. Honda has been a brilliant sponsor for IndyCar. It's going to change a little bit next year. I mean, Honda's still going to be a sponsor, but you, you can have a couple of other manufacturers involved. Um, obviously, a lot of people are talking about it. What, what, what can fans expect with, with a variety of engines next year? I mean, not only as we touched on in, in earlier with talking to the, the, the paddock about, you know, the sound of it, it's, you know, it's a lot more technology that's coming. I think you'll also see a lot more different approaches to the marketing and activation that's going on in and around the paddock. I mean, everywhere you look right now, you just see Honda symbols. But going forward, you'll see, you know, GM's ideas on marketing. You'll see Lotus's ideas on marketing. Um, you'll see a lot more brand awareness from each of the different companies. Right now we only have Honda vehicles sort of on show, the, pr the production road cars, but I'm sure the other manufacturers will be bringing their own and to be honest Lotus has got us all beat, you know, they've got the best cars if you're a fan, at least, you know, to for, certainly from the sporting perspective. So um, it's going to be really interesting, I mean there's going to be a battle off the racetrack as well as one on the racetrack. And, um, You'll see a lot more engagement of the drivers as well, particularly being associated with the manufacturer. You know, people are talking about being in the Honda family, being proud to be part of the Honda team, the, the Honda history that's had such great drivers like Montoya and Zanardi and Ayrton Senna and those guys. So, um, you know, people like Dario Franchitti are extremely proud to be Honda drivers and you know Dan Weldon is as well so we're you know very hopeful that we'll see both of those guys for us next year. I'll say hey Roger I really appreciate it thanks for taking some time. No problem thank you.